What's up YouTube, Son I'm on here and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Legends video. Today we're going to be talking about the old USTR and the new Zenkai Ultra Space Time Rush. People have been complaining that the old one was better and that the new one is way better than the old one. Let's not waste any more time, let's try to find out which one is really the best one. And I've been thinking about a new way to do this new discussion videos and it should be happening right about now. I'm going to start showing gameplay instead of just showing a random black screen the entire time and it should be really interesting on how this is going. My idea is that you guys can watch the gameplay and you can look to the right to see if I'm showing a portion like how the old Ultra Space Time Rush was able to get 500cc. I'll probably have that pop up on the screen somewhere on the right side. Give a brief discussion on what the old Ultra Space Time Rush was and what the new one is because they very completely different even though they have the same type of format. This is mainly meant for the new players, just in case they don't really understand what the old one was and why people are so upset about it. If you did not know this, the old Ultra Space Time Rush allowed players to get a maximum of 500cc if they do all the steps. It was a trial and error thing. It was really easy to do and it reset it every two weeks. So most free to play players looked at this event as a scapegoat to get free CC just in case they want to summon. Now 500cc is not that great. But if you take into consideration that every two weeks are reset, allowing you to get another 500cc, people will normally go to this banner and constantly play it over and over again just to save up for the Zenkai or the Elf that they be hoping to be dropping in Legends. It's personally what I use in order to save up against um, Vegito Blue, just in case the anniversary was right around the corner. It's a really good thing to summon on, and I'm glad I got Vegito Blue and I have to thank all of it just to that Ultra Space Time Rush. But it did have its flaws though. It was very, very boring to do. It had no challenge to it. You could just push auto and just let the entire CPU fight for you. You didn't have to do anything because only level 1000s and when you even get to level 5000, they're still extremely easy to do without having to put any thought process in it. People found the banner really, really boring. Well, the event very boring, but it was still a free to play way to do. It's normally a sacrifice of your time, but it's worth the 500cc. But there's a reason why a lot of free-to-play players are hating on the fact that it changed rapidly over time. So basically, Toshi announced that they were going to be revamping the Ultra Space Time Rush banner. And what they did with it is that they took away the 500cc that a lot of free-to-play players know us on. You see, pay-to-win players, they don't really mind the new rewards that they can get. And, but a lot of free to play players and a lot of pay to win players were complaining about how difficult the stages was, especially on the last stage. But the one leg up that the old one had over the new one is the fact that you could spend the 500cc on everything, but it's not like the new one doesn't have anything going for it. The new one has a lot of different rewards and you can exchange more things for it. But this time, you can get Awakening Z Power, well, Zenkai Awakening Z Power to use on any of the units that's inside the exchange shop. It varies from Super Saiyan Blue Goku to LF Beerus to LF Piccolo, LF Super Saiyan 3 Goku or just Broly or something like that. Giving you the chance to Zenkai characters without having to spend a thousand CC like free to play players don't normally want to do. So that's the difference between the two of them. Let's go over the pros and cons. Pro number one for the old Ultra Space Time Rush that is that it allowed players to have flexibility with the rewards that it was able to gain. Most people really like spending the 500cc on either to retry a banner or summon for a new banner. But the one major con that it had was that it was extremely, extremely long to do. No one really liked doing it and I could see why. When I did it, it would just take an hour and 30 minutes of my day just to push auto and let the CPU fight the entire time. Hopefully your phone or tablet doesn't turn off at during that time because then you may have to reset the entire fight all over again. But that's the only really benefit that the old one had just in general. You see, the old one also was allowing you to get tickets as well, but the ticket summons that you was able to do had extremely outdated units. I think the newest unit that you was able to summon on the old one was the purple Goku Blue. Now, the new USTR isn't that bad per se. It's actually really fun to do. It's difficult, like extremely difficult, almost as hard as people get whenever a new Goku Black releases. But the ticket summons are also really good. But personally, I think that the new mechanic that you have in general when it comes to exchanging 
is way more flexible than what the first one was. I don't blame them for just taking out the 500cc in general, that would be too broken of an event, especially when you can now at least Zenkai a character in half. It, if it resets every two weeks, you should be able to Zenkai summon a character in the span of two months. It should be not that difficult, but that's just it in general. Kai characters for 100 Awakening Z power for 15 times. But the mechanic is that if you beat all three stages, I believe you get a total of 20 to 25, which allows you to be able to Zenkai at least one character and a half. That isn't a bad mechanic by any means and allows you to get a Zenkai character of any of your choice. It doesn't have all the Zenkai characters on that entire exchange shop. I may be wrong and have to check again, but it is a good way to build the Zenkai characters that you've been longing for for your team. Before we get to the final section of the video when I put my final thoughts into it. It's not going to be a long video by any means, it's probably going to be at max 7 minutes long. But I believe that the new Ultra Space Time Rush is amazing. It's really good to be able to Zenkai characters of your choosing and you may be able to get them to Zenkai 7 by just doing a vid along. And we already know how good a Zenkai 7 is regardless. I think the only bad Zenkai 7s that's inside the game right now is probably Purple Vegeta and Super Saiyan Goku. Even then, they're still better than about half the units that is most recent. But personally, what I think they should have done is be able to make the event as hard as it was. And they should have kept the 500cc spread throughout the entire event itself. There was no reason to really take it out. It gave you flexibility and you was able to get a Zenkai. I believe that no one would complain about the event. And for those who believe it was difficult, that's on them and not on the gaming itself. But it is kind of messed up that they took away our 500cc. But I don't blame them once again. You get a free Zenkai and you get able to Zenkai on um, half of another character. If in perspective terms, that's about 1,500cc, which is amazing compared to the 500cc that you get for just being flexible alone. But that about wraps up this video, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one.